Hello and welcome to Into Your Life podcast. I'm Lenka and I'm joined here by my wonderful co-host Natalie. Hi, we invite you to join our weekly conversations about finding more life in one's life. Well, what does it actually mean? We have discussions about ways to live happier, healthier and more fulfilling lives, both personally and professionally. That sounds great. Let's go. I have an interesting topic in mind that I'd like to discuss with you, Natalie, today. And that I would love to hear from our audience, from our listeners, what they think about it. And the topic is belief. And I actually recently posted on my LinkedIn saying that I've changed my mind and that I feel that my current word of the year, which was living, that I fulfilled that and the chapter is complete halfway through the year and that I need a new word and the word is belief. So I would like to start easily, simply by asking you, what does belief mean to you? And then we can go into some of the nitty gritty of applications and how belief shows up and how we can believe in stuff. But just to open up the topic, Natalie, what is your perspective on belief? What does it mean to you? Yeah, this this is a, a very interesting topic because it can go down the religious route, you can go down the woo-woo route, you can go down the personal development route. And as you mentioned, it's it's about you know belief. What what is belief? Is it that you believe that you can do something? Is it belief in yourself or a bigger power? or source or God or whatever it is, it's belief is such a huge and powerful word. But I'm just going to go on the direction that I went in when you asked what is belief. And for me, it's understanding that there's more. There's more out there than maybe what we can see and maybe we don't always have proof. And it, it's quite weird because I was, I was, I was sort of having a, a conversation with my husband last night, um, a little bit on this, but, but not a lot, is creation and wind. You know, where does the wind come from? What helps plants to grow when you plant a seed or birth or, you know, new life? What is that? Is that a greater power? Is that a source? Is that the universe? Or is it something that we do? And and this is a little bit about what I was I was talking about, you know, with my husband about. But belief for me is knowing that there's something more. Not quite sure what. I haven't worked that one out, but there there is something more. And the interesting thing is, at the moment, I'm reading a book by Greg Braden, and he talks about where we come from, you know, the origins, and it's even older or further back than known record. And is is that a belief? Is that something that I need to learn to believe in? Or is there facts that can prove it? So belief is, I know I must really not quite answered your question, but this is sort of where I'm mired at the moment. So it's really interesting that you brought up this this topic when it's something that I've not necessarily been looking at belief, but it's trying to understand more about what's out there. And I just leave that as there. So Lenka, maybe share a little bit about where you're coming from. What what has got this idea in your head? What's brought this into your life? And I love that you bring this as your word for the rest of the year or maybe for the next 12 months. Who knows? I love it. Well, you actually played perfectly into where I'm coming at. And as you and our listeners probably know, lots of my inspiration and things that I start pondering come from books. 
So this kind of a topic of belief came through a couple of the books that I've been reading lately, which look on the relationship, be it between our body, mind, healing, and be it looking at the woo-woo world a little bit, and you know that I am kind of on my spiritual journey of allowing myself to go more woo-woo, and that's connected with then having to believe. Because in the woo-woo world, not everything can be rationally, logically, scientifically proven. Even though there is actually plenty, and one of the books that I'm currently reading is called Why Woo-Woo Works, and it is written by a scientist, by a professional um, who has you know doctorates and done studies and who looks at it very rationally. And I was like, well, let me see what's in there. And I think he convinced me that crystals are real. So um, that's a story for another time. But for me, belief is similar to what you touched on. It's the trusting that there is something more out there. It's the not obsessing so much over knowing and having proof and being able to touch and grasp and understand and unpack the science behind things and the rationale behind things and just letting go and believing that there is a higher power, which for me it's the universe. But it is also then trusting that the things do work the way they should work, which for me is then looking at vibration and energy and looking at both the um, scientific perspectives of understanding how different electromagnetic fields interact with each other and how we as humans actually resonate and stuff like that. And yet my brain still kind of goes towards like, oh, I know the scientific study, I can give you all the details of how this scientist has explained it. And yet all of what they're talking often, it's, and then you just have to believe. And then, you know, you have all the data and everything. But ultimately, what do you have to do? It's belief. And that's what I find hard because I'm I'm a trier. I'm a person who wants to be in control and wants to figure it out. And what I'm learning about belief is you just have to let go and believe. And that's the concept that I'm kind of in a, a rabbit hole spiral right now. But yeah, that's where I am right now. Something that, um, as you were speaking, came into my mind or reminded me is that um, I was in a, a membership group um, a while back and she introduced a a saying and it, it was really interesting and, and people in the group started to discuss it and it was very inspirational and I managed to get hold of the saying and I'm going to share it here because I think this might be something that might resonate with you, might resonate with our listeners. But I think this also is a little bit on, on belief because belief is also, for me, connected with being human and the humanness and where we come from or where we're going or what has happened in the past and going into the future. So I'm going to read it and see if this is something that resonates with you or you singing, oh, woman, you finally stepped off the planet. (laughs) So it is a verse by the the Hopi elders, and the Hopi um, were one of the Indian tribes uh, from America. And you have been telling the people that this is the 11th hour. Now you must go back and tell the people that this is the hour and there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in the right relationship? Where is your water? Know your garden. It is time to speak your truth. Create your community. Be good to each other and do not look outside yourself for the leader. Then he clasped his hands together and smiled and said, this could be a good time. There is a, there is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold onto the shore. They will feel they are torn apart and will suffer greatly. 
Now the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river, and keep our eyes open and our heads above water. And I say, see who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time in history, we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and journey comes to a halt. The time for the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves, banish the word, struggle from your attitude and your vocabulary. All that we do now must be done in a sacred manner and celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And as I mentioned, this is this is from the, the Hopi elders, from the Hopi nation. And I just love that because it, it embodies us, human, belief, spirituality, woo-woo. Having that something, is it source, is it nature, is it energy, is it flow, what is it? Because everybody experiences that verse differently. And I, th I thought I would share that today because it just it seemed to be something that I needed to share that you, you and the listeners must probably get something from it, hopefully. Otherwise, as I said, put it aside if it's not something that's there. And that's something that I love about belief because belief is not one size fits all. It is what do we need right now? What are we looking for right now? Where are my thoughts or my emotions going? Where's my belief going? And this is why I always love to contribute to humanness. Because Lenka, you are on a totally different path than I am. And sometimes we might meet and sometimes we don't, but that's okay. Because you show me a different perspective because of the journey that you on. But because you believe something, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's my belief or that I have to believe that. I find my own way. And it's for all our listeners as well. Is what, what journey are you on? Is it source for you? Or is it light? Is it energy? Is, what is it? Is it angels? Is it God? Is it Allah? Is it Buddha? doesn't matter because at the end of the day it's your journey it's your belief and and this is essentially why I wanted to share that verse I'd, I'd love to know what you think of it there is so much to unpack in there um, definitely I love that it was touching on the community and you know taking action now and connecting with each other and connecting with ourselves but for me in the perspective of belief Definitely to talk about, you know, letting go of the shore, of just trusting and jumping into the water and letting this wild river take you. Because for me, this is how it really feels. It's the scary feeling of, well, if I let go, I'm not in control anymore, which means anything can happen and I just have to give in. And again, that's where for me the belief, it's so much more inward kind of a personal journey rather than thinking and worrying and considering what other people might believe for me it's the grasping of the concept of well to truly believe in something be it something bigger be it something specific be it in you know oneself be it in our ability to achieve our goals to heal ourselves to do whatever but just allowing the fear to be present and yet let go and not to try to meander around it and find excuses and still try to justify and still try to explain. So for me, the concept of belief and this, you know, verse and the metaphor in there of we must let go of the shore, we must trust, just go in the water and let the wild river take us because the river has a purpose the river has an ending it has a goal in mind for us and be it whether we know the end goal we want or not or we think we know i don't think it matters for necessarily the resolution of this conversation but i think it's the letting go it's the trusting it's the overcoming the fear of giving up control so thank you so much for sharing that i have definitely um, enjoyed and appreciated the verse natalie 
And like I said earlier, it's different perspectives. It's different. You got something totally different from that than than what I did. And this is what I love about our conversations and this journey that we're on. But I would love to know from our listeners, what did they get from the verse? Did they get anything? What what is their what what sort of got to them? Or what do they understand about belief? Or what is your belief? What is your direction that you're going into? This is such a huge topic that can be one little thing or it can just be massive and you can go down a lot of different directions. But we would just love to know, what does belief mean to you? And what is it meant to you to have a belief or a load of beliefs or or whatever it is, share with us in the comments and let us know. And if you want us to find, dig more into this, ask us any questions and we are happy to find a way to answer them or find somebody who can help us to answer these questions because they are very big and deep and philosophical as well. But do share with us and um, we look forward to hearing what you think or believe if you enjoyed listening to our conversation please share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and write a short review